Good morning, it's Said and Keep here live with Mindset Monday. And today our topic is the art of intentional thinking. And uh, part of this intentional thinking we're gonna talk about in my visualization workshop that's coming up on December 30th. So if you wanna take part in that, um, uh, register below, we're gonna put the link below. Um, but the, what, what is the art of intentional thinking? Let's start there. Um, do you know that many, many, many people never take the time to just sit and think? We're busy, we're doing this, we're doing that, we're getting feet, getting fit, we're making meals, we're, you know, attending to our kids and, and our family and our house and, and driving here and driving there. And, you know, we've got music on in the background and, and thinking about what's next, what else do I got to do, what else I got to do. And many people don't stop and just think. Uh, you know, I still remember listening to um, stories, I believe it was about Thomas Edison, but I could have the names, maybe it was Alexander Graham Bell, I know, some big inventor, that used to um, just sit in his chair and think for hours. And, and he would doze off and he would go into half meditative state and different stuff like that. And he just got these most amazing ideas. Try this, try that, try this. And he kept moving forward and, and look at all the stuff that he was able, able to accomplish. So the, what is the art of intentional thinking? It's taking the time every day, first of all, to think about what you want in life. Um, a lot of people think that uh, life is just random, things just happen. Um, but if you take the stance, and I, and I think you should, that you are creating your life by every thought that you think, um, you, you, will, you will have a much better life. And, and that's what the art of intentional thinking means. Take the time every day to really focus on what it is you want. You know, as I was told as a coach, one of my number one jobs is to get people clear on their goals and then get them to focus on them and hold their confidence level at a level that is higher than they can hold it for themselves. Not always easy, you know? Some people just, oh, they just fight you every step of the way, it's really tough. Um, but boy, when you see, when they get it, it just makes such a difference. And sitting back and taking the time to think is a start. So, over the holidays, uh, take less time watching TV, less time, uh, visiting with friends and family and just sit and think, you know, sit and think about what it is that you really, really want out of your life. And this is what we're going to go into in the visualization workshop. You're going to learn some visualization techniques that are absolutely amazing. They've made huge uh, leaps and bounds for me in, in stuff I've been able to accomplish. And, and I want to share that with people. Um, and so that, that's why I built that workshop. But it, it starts with thinking, first of all, about what you want. Um, people, lots of people just get up and go to work and go to their job and put in their eight hours, 10 hours, come home, look after the wife, the kids, and the husband and the kids, and do the laundry and make the supper and sit in front of the TV. And they forget about the thinking part, the thinking part that creates your better life, that makes your life better. Um, so that, that's, we're going to touch on a lot of that on the workshop and there's going to be a registration link below. Uh, my assistant's going to help me do that. I didn't know how to put it in the, uh, in the, uh, notes section there. So he'll help it come out in the email or, or below the link, maybe in the comment section and stuff. Um, the, uh, the art of intentional thinking, um, it, like I said, it starts with looking for what you want, but it also helps with creating you know, if you want to come up with a, with a great idea, uh, you know, sit and think, you know, think and meditate and, and uh, you know, let the universe shoot, uh, shoot some ideas into your brain space. And then when you get those ideas, take some action on them. It's called inspired action. So it's not just action, 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 do this, do that, do this, do that, do this, do that. It's taking inspired action that really will make the difference in your life. And it all starts with how you think. And we all know, we all know that what we think is, is what, um, 
is what comes about. But it's how do you make that happen? Uh, how do you, uh, first of all, make the time that it takes to sit there and just think? Because I remember myself just thinking, oh my gosh, who has time to just sit and think? Who the heck has time to just sit and meditate? I fought meditating for years. I just thought, oh, that was the stupidest thing ever. And now that I've practiced it, and and I don't know, maybe it's because I'm getting older and I, I just feel less need to be running around all the time and doing this and doing that and accomplishing this and accomplishing that. And I take a lot more time to think and visualize what it is I really want. Because, you know, I've found over the years that I've built stuff out of pure will that I don't really want, you know? I'm not a huge materialistic person. Um, uh, even when I go on trips, it's not the scenery that, you know, I'm not a scenery person looking around at the trees and the mountains and stuff. If somebody comments, I may go, oh, wow, yeah, that's beautiful. But, you know, mine is the connections with people. I love connecting with people. I love helping people and, and brainstorming with people and masterminding with people and stuff like that. That's the kind of stuff that I really like to do. And you know what? Um, some of the stuff that you think is going to help you get there actually takes it away from you. Um, you know, even back to our, our growth, you know, getting to over 500 doors was never a goal of mine. I just was just never a goal of mine. I wanted to make good income. I wanted to make a difference. I wanted to leave a legacy for my family, but it was never a goal to get over 500 doors. And now that we have them, it's like, wow, that's way too much work that I don't want to do anymore. So, um, I don't think we're going to downsize. Uh, we, we, well, I shouldn't say that we've started to downsize in way in ways where we're doing too much work with stuff but we're upsizing on the other side and in the new year you're going to be hearing more about the real estate investment trust that we've set up our first purchase could be 500 doors so it's not like we're going to downsize but my role is changing and i'm not going to be doing the day-to-day -day stuff that i've allowed myself to get drawn into um, even though I know I advise my students all the time, be careful, don't property manage. You know, I kind of got myself in a situation where I'm not property managing, but I'm managing the property managers, which is almost as frustrating. So um, where, where can you change your life by doing less rather than doing more? Uh, it, if, if you allow the time to sit and think, stuff will come to you. Like stuff will come to you. For example, uh, some of you have seen that I've been promoting this uh, uh, passive income Amazon uh, automated business. And you know, I, I've been thinking about way different ways to where I can earn just as much or more without doing all the work myself. And uh, one day I am in the, uh, the group session that I work with, that I, with the coach that I'm working with. And he was bragging about this fellow Andreas and how well he's doing in his business. And I said, I, I said, well, what is this business? On one of our private calls, I said, what is this business? He said, well, it's an automated um, Amazon store. And I said, would you be okay if I reached out to him? I just want to have a chat with him one-on-one -on -one about that. So j just an idea, right? And I ended up on the call with him and I loved the idea. It just totally made sense to me. I've actually sat on webinars in the last little while and listened to, I think through Bob Proctor's one, um, Robert Kiyosaki's another. They both promote some kind of a Amazon business. But after listening, I it was you get to do all the work. Okay, I'm gonna guide you and I'm gonna teach you and I'm gonna guide you and I'm gonna teach you, and you're gonna get to be just as good as I am. And you know, I just don't have the interest to be guided and learn and teach it. You know, I listened to a webinar yesterday, and um, because I know that there's quite a few people uh, that are interested but they don't have the money. So I listened to this webinar yesterday and it's not a done for you. It is a, uh, I'll teach you. And I thought, you know, I'll learn about that a little bit. Uh, and then maybe I can share that with you guys too. Cause you know, um, if you're, if you've got plenty of time, maybe that's the route for you to go. So I actually booked a strategy call with these guys and, uh, I'm going to listen to what they have to say and maybe I'll come back and, and for those of you that can't afford the automated done for you, maybe it's a way that you can learn how to do it yourselves and still make really good money. They're making amazing money just by listening to their, their video. Um, and which I believe I found on Facebook, <laughs> you know, and because uh, I, I was honestly thinking, geez, you know, there's a lot of people out there that can't afford the investment. There's just no way. Uh, 
how can I find a way for it to work for them? So first of all, I know that we are working on a loan program where maybe we can get 100% financing. Again, that won't be for everybody because they won't qualify. They won't have a good enough credit score and whatever else. Um, but maybe this is the way, maybe it's a do it yourself one where somebody guides you and through videos and, and coaching calls and stuff like that. So once I've talked to them and uh, check it out a bit, I'll share it with you to th see if it's, if it's something, because there's a lot of people jumping on the bandwagon of the Amazon stores. Um, you just have to find something that would fit for you. For me, it's the done for you model. I give them money. He does all the work. They do all the work. They send me money. <laughs> that's what I love. Passive income. And uh, that's why it made a whole lot of sense for me. Um, Andreas did announce just a couple days ago that the price is going up by $10,000 January 1. Um, but a few days before that, they announced that they were they have had a U.S. loan going for a while, but they hadn't been able to get Canadian loans. And just last week, they announced that they can now... Um, they now have a loan program in Canada. So you still put up the initial 10,000, they loan you the other 20,000 for the website and then you still have to put up 10,000 for the um, inventory. Um, there's no payments. It uh, how, how it works is they get paid 70% of the profits and you only get paid 30 until the loan is paid off. So again, it's incentive-based, uh, works with, um, uh, with the system if if just like they mentioned in there that they've got a guarantee if they don't uh, make it work for you uh, they I think it's 18 months within 18 months say they, they, they'll give you your money back um, so it's just another way okay well then they're also taking twenty thousand dollars off the table uh, so that um, that and I'm not sure about how the whole loan program works if you're still liable for the loan that would be a question if you're interested to book a call with Andreas and ask him all those uh, deep detailed questions that don't uh, and the keep doesn't think about because <laughs> I've had quite a few people ask me some deep questions and I went honestly never even thought about that question but that's a good one for you to ask Andreas when you book a call with him because I'm not going to book a call and ask 140 questions that I probably couldn't regurgitate the answer back to anyway um, so take some time to really really think about what you want your life to look like and then start focusing on that every single day. That's the art of intentional thinking. And if you need some help with that, uh, join my visualization workshop that's gonna be the evening of December 30th. Uh, that's next Monday, so one week from today. And uh, I'm gonna share with you some really great techniques that's gonna help you reach your goals in 2020. Techniques that you may maybe never heard of before. So have a really good day. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year for all of you that I don't see between now and then. Uh, I think I'll do a, a Facebook Live on Friday because it's uh, not a holiday. Um, and then back out on the 30th. But uh, have a really good day, a really good Christmas week. And uh, we'll talk to you all on Friday. Bye for now.